не 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 Alright. Do the posty stuff. Boom, boom. Did it do? That's it, that's all. Okay, how's everybody doing tonight? It's Tuesday, that means Stellaris Console Edition night. Woo! Although, to be fair, that's pretty much what it is every night. Whenever I stream these days. <laughs> I mean, what else What else am I going to play? Eh. What else do I want to play? Eh. Not much. Very little. Okay, um, you know. Enjoying a little early holiday cheer by sucking back on some store-bought eggnog. Ah. Okay, let's uh, get back to our stream game. One planet strategy. Here we go. Jumping back right into the thick of things. Give me a second here to make sure the Twitch stuff is working fine. ba doop boop boo doo uh, 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 okay. Go back to my thing. There we go. Back to this thing. There it is. Hello? Can I hear myself? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So. Hopefully some of you guys drop in. Okay, uh, where did we leave off? We're only about 20 years in. And there's the Chara system, which we just barely cannot build in. That's unfortunate. Uh, but what else? What else we got? We got Sala. Where are our construction ships? This guy's cruising about. Okay, he's taking care of those ones. This guy's taking care of those ones. And then... From there? I don't know. We'll deal the great. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Um, ooh, you know what? We should totally build a research station for those three points of engineering research. That's not too bad. How about our science ships? What are they doing? Uh, this one... Uh, she's supposed to be swinging back and doing all our special projects and getting those out of the way so that we can find the Cybrex home system. Uh, but it's going to take her a bit. Uh, this science ship, she's... Chilling. Uh, this guy, he's just uh, surveying. Russia was my idea. I was going to. Dude slash dudette slash gender fluid two spirit dragon kin, however you address yourself. Right, let's get back to this. Okay, we got a new tradition available. So we want. Um, so in the last little bit, we completed discovery. Obviously, that's a good first pick. We get that 20% research bonus by completing Discovery and picking Technological Ascendancy. Uh, and since we are playing One Planet Strategy, to assert our technological dominance, of course we want to do that. Next up, we need to do Expansion. And a lot of the stuff in the Expansion tree, namely adopting the tradition uh, and taking Courier Network and a new life, those help out with new colonies. Uh, that's not that big of an issue, though. What we want is we want Reach for the Stars, which reduces the cost of building frontier outposts outside our borders, and Galactic Ambition, which reduces frontier outpost upkeep by 50%. This includes the amount of influence required, which is normally one influence per month with a frontier outpost uh, constructed. And... Uh, now, then it only costs 0.5 influence, so we want the, those two. Reach for the Stars, got a Galactic Ambition. And then after that, we'll finish off the uh, Expansion Tradition Tree. Colonization Fever will actually be a little bit helpful because it will help our capital building on our home world produce one more point of unity. Nothing too fantastic, but every little bit of unity that we can squeeze out is beneficial. I've been subbed on YouTube since Stellaris came out on Game Pass, and this is my first stream. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks for coming by. I'm on year 79. One planet strat. Just need two more levels in tradition and can make science machine XL that I found pre-built in one of my systems. 
Oh, lucky you. Uh, you'll need the mega engineering technology for that. Um, I don't think you need the ascension perk for it. Ooh, we've got a bunch of stored physics research down there. Okay. All right, so uh, we are still generating four influence per month. How much? 4.5. So in theory, we could actually build uh, nine frontier outposts once we get that reach for the stars or whatever galactic ambitions uh, tradition sometime down the road but we don't have enough stuff surveyed unfortunately so that's why we need our science ships to just kind of be out there hanging out and researching stuff okay so we got options here uh, we've got uplink miniaturization which offers improved assist research which is pretty good once we get enough science ships that we can have one assisting research on the home world uh, however uh, most everything else is kind of poopy, and the real pick that we want is automated exploration protocols, which increases survey speed by 50%. Uh, so we're going to pick that. It'll take 35 months. That's a bit there, and we need a new engineering thing. Oh, okay, we did deep space stations. Good. Okay, um, so next up... Ooh. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm going to go with droids over Corps of Engineers. Uh, we do need, at least I think, we do need Corps of Engineers. Uh, but let's go with droids so that uh, our droids that we have on our homeworld uh, are pumping out just a little bit more minerals. Speaking of which, let's take a look here. How many uh, robot pops do we have? Okay, so we've just got the one fully grown. Once this one is grown, in two more months, we'll put him on this mining network. And we're, we're upgrading hydroponics farms. Oh, that makes sense because we're suffering on food right now, which is really, really lame. So let's upgrade our hydroponics farms. I was not expecting that at all, actually. Huh. Alrighty. So let's do that and leave it there. And next up, we need to kind of need to be worrying about minerals some more. I might have to start plopping stuff down on some of these stellar bodies that are only producing two minerals. Anomaly found. I don't want to, but I, well, we might have to. Um, like I've said in the previous uh, stream. Uh, you know, for the most part, you don't necessarily want to worry. You're, you're worried about energy efficiency and uh, using up one energy per month just to get two minerals or two points of science um, is inefficient. You're largely looking for stuff that is better than that. Of course, anything that's producing energy is is useful, even if it's only two. Um, that's still that's still useful. Because uh, it'll help improve your monthly energy output. It essentially allows you to build one, maybe two more orbital stations producing additional minerals. So that's fine. Okay. Um, Construction complete. I think we had it... So yeah, I think we had it so that this ship was going to survey the rest of this little bit here. And then System zip back and start complete. doing the... Okay, so we're not in the negative on food anymore, thankfully. Um, I don't really want to upgrade the mining networks because we're going to be turning them into power plants at some point. Uh, tell you what I will do, though. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. We already have a physics lab. Okay. Okay, so if we already have a physics lab, we could use... Uh, engineering lab... Now, the thing is, as soon as this tile blocker is cleared, so I'm going to be watching it closely, as soon as this tile blocker is cleared, um, if we wait until the next month elapses, then an organic pop will start growing on it, and we don't want that. So as soon as it's finished, I need to move the cursor over it. This, of course, is easier if the tile blocker is cleared on, like, you know, the third day of, of a month or something like that, or within the first, you know, ten days of a new month. Uh, but when it but when it finishes on day 28 or something like that, uh, you got to be a lot more on the ball, and it's going to be finishing on day 25. So I got to be quick. We have more than enough energy and minerals. There we go. Okay, so day 26. 
have enough time to go boop build robot and we'll move the robot pop down there and now what we're going to do is actually let's do a science lab here and a science lab here we have the energy to do that it did cost us a science fair bit of minerals Earth. but that's okay oh no that's not good uh, losing a science ship is never good come on get out of there there, that's fine. That's fine. Being missing in action for a little bit, I'm okay with. If we lost the science ship, that would suck. Any other way to up max mineral hold other than the silo? Yeah, there's certain technologies. Uh, like if we look at the engineering technologies that were available to us, you have deep core mining, which gives you a higher grade mining network, but also increases your mineral storage capacity by a thousand. Um, and of course, the mega engineering technology will increase it by about 20,000. If I'm recalling correctly, 20,000? 10,000? I can't remember. Uh, so this guy is just chilling. We want him to continue the survey. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Survey there first, please. And then survey here, and here, and here, and there, and there, and there. Thank you very much. Um, so I am adamant to expand in this direction as, as useful as it would be, like putting a frontier outpost in this system where we got another plus four energy and definitely plus three minerals uh, and possibly, you know, other things that might be in these neighboring systems, which doesn't look like much right now. Uh, I'm adamant to do that because this order of Jothamari is rivaling us and they don't like us very much. Uh, same with this Yelon Republic. They are not rivaling us, but they don't like us, and they've closed their borders to us. Construction ship. All right, you are done building stuff. Uh, what should I have you do? There's ten minerals in here, but only one of them is an asteroid generating four. Huh. What's up in here? Hmm. You know what? I think if I built a frontier outpost up here in this system, Brius... It, the borders will still extend enough to get... Uh, do we want anything in Briscoe? No. The borders will probably extend enough to get the Sooth system in there as well. The Adumir system would be fantastic to grab too. If we could somehow get that. But I don't think it'll be big enough. Anyways, let's just queue up a Frontier Outpost over here. There's 200 minerals down the drain. And our science labs. Can we upgrade into the respective bio and engineering facilities. Ooh, we have a primitive civilization. Okay. Now, another thing I didn't really go over in the previous... Ooh, 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 ooh. Hypercoms form. We do want that. We want that. That is very good. See, look at all the research options we're getting now that we've finished self-aware logic uh, just a little bit earlier. So we want the hypercoms form because this generates six unity, but also increases unity output on the planet by 10%. So that's really good. Uh, so where is this primitive civilization? Uh, another key thing in uh, the One Planet strategy is primitive civilizations. Uh, I said it in the previous stream that if we had the modifier, you could totally cheese it by cranking it way up. Because what you want to do is put an observation post over primitive civilizations and... Um, not uplift them. What's the word I'm looking for? You, br you bring them to... Uh, you technologically enlighten them is what it is so that uh, they join the galactic community and they're essentially um, your protectorate and later on they'll become a vassal and you kind of use those as a buffer for people who are hostile towards you and want to kill you slash declare war on you blah 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 um, you know they'll hold off on doing that a little bit uh, it's not a fail safe obviously but uh, it, it makes makes a bit of a difference when you got people that can kind of help protect you as opposed to uh, you know if somebody attacks you and your your six Corvettes aren't good enough because they already have I don't know cruisers <laughs> uh, that's actually that's unlikely okay so uh, we'll do a bio lab here and then an engineering facility here in a minute, once we get the minerals. I don't think this is really a recommended thing to do in the strategy, is build a couple science labs on the home world. Um, I personally just like to do it. 
because I'm weird. <laughs> I do still try to follow uh, tile resources a little bit in my single player games. Not religiously, not like I used to, but I still, I still do adhere to them somewhat. Uh, okay, let's check out our construction ship up there. What's our other construction ship doing? You are in Sala doing that stuff, and then you need to move down to here and build these mining stations. Please and thank you. We'll be able to, we'll be able to queue this up. There we go. And then we'll wait about uh, three, four months, and then we'll be able to queue up this other uh, spot right here. Poa Poea 7. <laughs> Poa. Poea. Poa. I don't know. <laughs> Anomaly found. Uh, research. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Construction complete. One more month and we'll be able to queue up this mining station. Our construction on our home plan is done. So that did up our science just a little bit. Not very much, but just a little bit. Um, our physics research is kind of lacking, though, because we don't really have any orbital stations that are producing any. Archaeological project. There we go. We're starting to get those Cybrex artifacts now. That's good. Because um, we want to find that home system. Uh, where is that science ship that's doing? Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand. So we, we had this person zip back, do all the really high-level Cybrex artifacts, and then they were going to go over and survey uh, these new systems. Now, what's this one? What is that? In Limbo. Oh, okay. Well, I have her do that. Uh, you know what? I should have had her go and survey this system. Uh, dang it. Found. I screwed that up. That's inefficient. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll let it go. Okay, so our construction ship in Brius is just about done. Uh, so, fingers crossed that we get the Sooth, Sooth, the Sooth system in there. And if we get Adumir, that's uh, an extra added bonus because we could really use that six points of physics research. Our physics is kind of lacking. Now, uh... Once our automated exploration protocols is done, uh, I'm probably going to have to start focusing on stuff like fusion power and whatnot, because we do need zero point power sooner rather than later to be able to unlock mega engineering. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for that. Okay, 99%. Let's see what happens. There it is. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't think we'd get that other one. That's okay. That's okay. We we got a ooh, all four energy on this one planet. That's beautiful. Okay, and what's over here? Uh, you know what? Before we do more things for energy, I'm going to move the construction ship down here. We could really use this extra four points of minerals per month right about now. Getting thirty minerals per month. That way, we only got to wait three months to be able to build a new mining station. Ooh, there we go. There's our droids. Very nice. Okay. Um, we got some decent options here, but this one, this advanced spaceport, is the only one that's truly relevant to progressing with this strategy. So, I'm uh, going to pick that one. Anomaly found. Uh, you know what? This might be okay, because once I pick the... Once I start down the supremacy tradition tree, our borders will expand a tiny bit, and we might just get that system... Uh, okay, what do we get here? Man, these are not very good options. Uh, so what's the cheapest? This one, deflectors, and it's partially researched as well because we reverse engineered it. That's fine. So we'll pick that. It'll be done quick, faster than all the other ones, and we'll get a nice little re-roll, hopefully get something useful. And, okay, so we can do a mining station here. Oh, that star is not within our borders. Whoops. Beta Hydra is, though. Nuclear devastation. Our survey of Herbert and revealed that it used to be a pristine continental planet with a mild climate as little as a thousand years ago. Well, not anymore. There we go. System survey complete. 
How late am I? You are not late at all. I only just started about 20 minutes ago. So not, not, not much has happened. We built a new frontier outpost up here. Uh, we really should be building a lot more, but our mineral generation is kind of bleh. Uh, it's a bit better now that we have droids. Keyword just a bit better. Um, let's see. Eh. Special project complete. Archaeological project completed. There we go. One more Cybrex artifact. How are we doing on those anyways? Uh, well, we really only need one more, and then we can find the home world. But there's two more that we could... Uh, there's two more that could give us stuff. So I'm hoping we can do, do both of those. Oh, here we go. They're out now. The Chara system is within our borders. Beautiful. Um... But we only have, we can only get the six energy. That's the only useful stuff out of here. So I'm not going to worry about that right away. Uh, we need to find something else. We need to find more minerals. System survey complete. We require more minerals. That's a very poor Protoss impression. <laughs> Found. Interesting how it says this star is not within our borders. Oh yeah, it's just outside. Just outside. I'd say, you know, by a certain value that is very inappropriate, but uh, trying to keep it PG. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to wait till the turn of the new month before clearing this new tile. 34, there we go. Anomaly found. Okay, so we got the construction ship in Chara, ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, build the mining station there. Then you're going to move over to this one. Ooh, Situation a whiff of something. Updated. Oh, factory study. Yeah, don't care about that right now. Enter orbit. A few more months and we build a mining station. I'll probably have to queue up uh, building that droid first, though. Ooh. Okay. Tile locker clear. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're lacking one mineral. Uh, let's see. Brigand Commerce Exchange. Do me a solid here. Uh, let's trade... This is a really bad exchange, but we're kind of... Oop, there we go. We're kind of uh, a little bit desperate right now, so screw it. Um, don't forget to use the trade guilds. I can't believe how many people forget to use those if you absolutely need to use stuff. I'm three hours into my new One Planet game. I have a Devouring Swarm next to me and a Fallen Empire on the other side. Uh, honestly, I just suggest restarting. <laughs> that just sounds awful. Situation Bring it up, updated. whatever it is. Okay, so now we can upgrade to a Planetary Capital as well. This will increase our energy output. Uh, it will increase the adjacency bonus, and it will increase the unity that this that this, uh, what's it called, that this structure is uh, producing. And that's good timing, too, because we're going to finish uh, the Hypercoms form in just a few months. And, uh, ooh, ooh. And we'll be able to build the Hypercoms form to increase our Unity production. Um, anyways, yeah, keep keep going in that one. See how it goes. But honestly, if I was, if I was in your situation, I probably would have... Uh, restarted by now because I would have just been like ah screw this this isn't going to go well <laughs> but that's totally up to you if you want to give it a shot I don't see anything wrong with that I would love to have that system in our borders um okay so automatic like exploration ooh that's a lot that's a decent amount of science right there that'd be helpful um is the core ash system those four minerals no nope, it's on two asteroids okay well that sucks um, okay, so I started fusion power. We had some good, we had some good options here, though. Planetary power grid for the energy nexus. Research That's not complete. that wouldn't be too bad System of a pick. Uh, there it is, local hypercoms, and what else do we got here? Uh, oh, the living state. Yes, this is a good pick. This is a fantastic pick. 
um, for the one planet strategy. Any of these ones like the living state, the collective self, and what's the other one? Adaptive bureaucracy because they increase the maximum influence you can get from factions. Um, and, and that's huge. The influence generation from factions is essentially what's floating our economy and allowing us to build all these frontier outposts. Or what will allow us to build all these frontier outposts, I should say. Um, geez. So, we want to get this... What kind of age are these guys in? Machine age? Holy crap. They're, uh, they're advanced. There we go. Another Cybrex artifact has been found. Contact the nearest Cybrex ship. Contact the nearest ship. Okay, where is this? Oh, it's way down here? Okay. So, this guy... Um... Once you're done surveying in here, my dude, you are immediately going to fly over to Cybrex Alpha, which I believe is what this was. I, I think. What's going on now? Oh, here we go. Now the Yellow Republic has declared us rivals. Brilliant. That's that's a good sign. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, can you build there? Yeah, you can if you wanted to. Not there, though. Um, so we'll declare them rivals as well because why not? They already hate our guts. And there we go. That gave us a, a whole nother point of influence. So yay, we can build more frontier outposts. But boo, these people really, really hate us. <laughs> not a good sign. Okay, we have a lot of influence saved up actually. We... Uh, I wish we were able to, uh... Are you kidding me? Space amoebas. Space amoebas everywhere. Okay, so where is that guy? Hintaron. Um, I'm gonna get you to bring up this gas giant ship. Whatever it is. Uh... Make preparation. Where is that? Where is that? Six minerals. Ooh, that's a good spot. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Uh, what about down here? The real question is, where do we build the frontier outpost over here? Huh. Let's get the guy in Eskelion before he takes off. No, 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 no. Let's get him. Let's get him looking in Cybrex Alpha right now. Uh, the Cybrex home system track on map. Is it that place? Yes. So okay. So we're going to the right place. Uh, we're gonna get a big boost in. Uh, energy credits here, and we'll get a big boost in unity, science. It's going somewhat good so far. All I could put out is three frontiers. I have plus 50 each tech and plus 60 minerals. Is that not good enough? Eh. Form a defensive pact with the biggest guys to help you, maybe. Oh, and I'm rushing worm. I'm just waiting on the mega tech to pop up. Okay. Um, the problem with defensive packs is that they cost influence. So that reduces the an amount of frontier outposts that you can, that you can construct. Uh, that's my problem with them. Do, do, do. Huh. Well, we got options. You know, we have a lot of options. Let's get this guy to come back here and build these mining stations. Just increase our... We, you know what? We're generating a decent amount of energy. So, uh, let's see. Do we have contact with the artisan troop or the curators? No. Of course not. Construction complete. Okay, what did we finish building here? Ooh, there we go. Okay, and Hypercom's form, please thank you. And now what? Uh, do, 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 do. We still only have power plant twos, but you know what? That's enough. Uh, this guy's growing. See, I'm. Oh, again? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, you know what? Once this guy's done, we're gonna have him go over here. We've got to find a way to Cybrex Alpha. Research complete. Advanced spaceport, very good. Ooh, there's Corps of Engineers again, but we've also got cruisers. So let's get cruisers. Need those, uh, need that battleship's tech to pop up. Special project complete. Oh, lovely. 
Uh, we just got another cruiser for free, actually. Let's see what it's equipped with. Oh, two large disruptors and two medium blue lasers. Not the greatest loadout, in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. It works. This adds a little bit more fleet power to our uh, six Corvettes. <laughs> Um, okay, so we got a construction ship that's sitting here chilling, doing nothing. Uh, let's see. Let dead aliens lie and get a bunch of engineering research or limbo a second chance. I'm going with let dead aliens lie. Um, and then... What's another thing we can do? This person... Uh, Okay, you... I want you to survey over here because I want to figure out what's in these systems. Uh, you know what? We're getting more science ships. We are getting more science ships. Now let's take a look at what we can get for scientists. Ooh, roamer, survey speed. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what else do we got? Expertise, void craft. Let's take that. Expertise, void craft is always useful. We can swap them out with people. Ooh, cold fusion power. Yep, need that. Uh, working our way towards zero point power. What? Why did you let them die? Construction complete. I just ended up making a federation. That kills your naval capacity. Uh, but that's not an issue with one planet strategy. Not so much. Um, doesn't being in a federation cost influence as well? I can't remember. Uh, construction ship. Chara. Do, do, do. Wait, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Duh. Okay, so let's get this person to build a few mining stations as well. Uh, how many months before cruisers done? Wouldn't it be better to let them make their own empire and make them into tributaries? Well, yeah, it, it would be way better System to have tributaries, absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to, though. Are you referring to the primitives? Uh, cruisers is done in 32 it's months, so complete. less than three years. Okay, we got two new science ships, which we desperately need. So let's take this one, put you in the roamer. Uh, roamer lady, you go here. Start surveying those systems, please. And then the other one, uh, expertise voidcraft person. Good for her. Uh, we are, in fact, going to put the... Oh, you know what? How much would that change it? 1%. 1% difference. Okay. Whatever. Uh, this person has now gotten themselves repaired. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw the expertise biology person in here. And I'm just going to throw a bunch of science ships at Cybrex Alpha. Hopefully one of them gets there really shortly. How many months before cruising? No, the anomaly that you chose to let them die. Because sometimes when you revive them, they ask to join your planet it's kind of hit or miss um ooh, hey what are you doing you are not doing anything you go over here and survey please uh you what are you doing why aren't you doing anything you can go over there oh wait what that was interesting It costs one influence, but I figured it worth it since I got a third civic to increase faction influence by 50%. Yeah, that is that is true. That is true. There's only so much space in the galaxy. And, I mean, like, if, if losing that one influence means you lose out on two frontier outposts that you can't build anywhere anyways, then, yeah, I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, it was either make them into robots later. You can deny them joining you if you wait until you get the android tech rather than robot tech, and then they make their own empire elsewhere. Uh, also true. <laughs> the problem with that, though, is I didn't want them... Where, where, wherever that anomaly was located, I didn't want the possibility of them popping up and creating an empire, you know, right in our expansion path, because most of where we're going to be building our new frontier outposts is over here in this direction, uh, along this arm. Until we run into somebody over here, obviously. Um, but that's kind of where the focus is right now. I will be putting a frontier outpost or two down in this little portion right here because this pocket, look at this, the Zimpox system. We got one asteroid producing three minerals. Uh, Applade, we've got another asteroid producing three minerals. And then Eskelion is the one where we got a planet, a little moon producing six minerals. So 
it'd be very beneficial getting a Frontier Outpost or two over in this area as well. So I'm going to be definitely doing that. Oh, well, look. We got more hostiles. Space Amoeba. Fair enough. I didn't get that anomaly until I was fully boxed in and couldn't expand any more Frontiers. Okay, so if there is another hostile fleet like here in any one of these three star systems, this one, this one, or this one, then we can't get to uh, Cybrex Alpha from this direction. And I will be very, very sad. Complete. Construction complete. What are you guys doing? Complete. They flew there. Now they're flying back. Okay, yeah, see? I am mildly confused as to the logic behind our science ships right now. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Can I build an observation post here? Yes, I can. Beautiful. So let's get that going. And what about back here? Can we do a research station? No. It's still outside our borders. Can't quite tell by how much because of the bright area here. Eh, yeah, it would have to grow just a little bit more. Not much, just a little bit more. Uh, and then mining station here. Nope, still can't do that. Uh, okay, so, ooh, new tradition. Okay, good. Uh, there we go. Reach for the stars. Want that one. Good. Now I can definitely... Let's see here. So if we cover that much area... You know what? I've got a feeling that I can build... I think I can build a frontier outpost right here in Koval. And... It'll get most of these other systems directly around it. Most of them, if not all of them. Oh, look, more space amoeba. Maybe they can go through this way to the Vire system. Okay, so we have to make. System so system. long as there's no more hostiles, uh, except if there is, they're in one of these two systems, which our ships can bypass, then we won't have a problem. Get to Cybrex Alpha. Yeah, I got restricted in the amount of space I can expand into since Empires love spawning on top of me. Uh, yeah, and th and that's part of the reason why I suggested uh, if you really just want to cheese it, um, you know, you could you could also have the Empire count like pretty low, uh, but have uh, have like the end game crises on, have as many fallen empires as possible, that kind of jazz. That's entirely doable, but like I always say, totally up to you. Construction complete. Construction complete. There we go. Okay, so what are we doing here in our observation post? Uh, do I want to indoctrinate them first? No, they're xenophile and materialists, so screw that. We're going to do technological enlightenment. This will cost us five energy and society research every month. So costly, but they will be our protectorate slash vassal later on. Um, all right, now what? Uh, we have some pretty poopy options here in the society tree. I don't want genome mapping because that'll increase our growth speed. So let's do reactive formations because it's the cheapest one besides the plus growth speed one, which, as I said, we don't want. Uh, let's send this guy up here to build a few more mining stations because we can definitely afford it. We have we are generating more than enough energy, just under 30. Not a fantastic amount. I would like to improve that. Uh, but it's an okay amount. Uh, let's take a look at our home planet. Uh, is there anything worth doing here? I could see. I could build more mining stations, and the droids would be really useful on those because they got the plus fifteen percent bonus. Uh, but I don't want to because energy will be the problem down the road. Where is our energy nexus? That's my question. Do I even have one yet? I do. Oh, it's up here. Duh. Can't believe I didn't see it. Energy grid, excuse me, not energy nexus. Um, okay. Huh. Debating, debating, debating. Uh, tell you what. Let's do power plant and power plant. And we'll leave it at that. Now, those two droids are, are going to actually be producing less energy than an organic pop would be not just because our organic pops have the thrifty trait but um droids have a penalty to um to what's it called hang on 
one species. Where is it? Droid. There we go. So as a droid, they reduce. They have 40% reduction in, in in all science output, unity output, 20% reduction in energy credits, but plus 15% increase in minerals, which is pretty pretty decent. Um, however, they'll have what is it? A 10% or a 20% increase to energy credits once they are synthetics. Uh, so once we get synthetics, it'll be like boom, we get a we get a decent Situation amount of minerals all of a sudden. Updated. Investigate System gigantic survey. skeleton. Okay. Uh, once you're done in there, why don't you? Oh, geez, have to be skill three or higher to do that. Oh man. Oh, there we go. The Cybrex Central Nexus. Uh, 1447 unity. It's not very much, but decent amount. 2,000 energy credits and 500 engineering research. There we go. And it's a ruined ring section, of course. So let's get this guy to go ahead and survey the system. Now, this guy is in Cybrex Alpha as well. Uh, I'm just going to set him to automatic exploration. And then the other guy, you are going to go on automatic, automatic exploration right now. Um, I'm going to recruit. I'm going to build. Let's see. Are there any good scientists we can recruit again? We still have one extra. A maniacal one that's kind of chilling. I probably should have swapped him out. Oh no, we still have... Uh, what is that? Cruisers being researched. So we want the ex expertise Voidcraft on that. Eh, plus 15% experience. Not too bad. Ooh, expertise, expertise Statecraft. Yes, please. Uh, so people. Recruit new leader. Let's get the expertise Statecraft person. Build two more science ships. Really need to amp up this exploration of the stars. And now we can get Galactic Ambition. There we go. And our influence just jumped up to 7.29 per month. So we really need to expand. Uh, expand, expand, expand. Where can we build some stuff? That's another thing. Let's get another construction ship as well. Uh, I think I can worry less about System the survey. efficiency of putting stations on places that are only producing two minerals. Uh, I think I can start worrying less about that and just start doing it because we're generating an okay amount of energy right now. And we'll be generating more once we get synthetics. We'll be generating more once I get more power plants on our home system. Or sorry, on our home planet. Uh, you automatically explore and you do your thing as well. Boop. Go, Cybrex Alpha, fully surveyed. Beautiful. What do we got here? Menchib. Ooh. Planet generating four energy. Not too bad. I got lucky when looking for precursor artifacts. I found seven. I learned that when you find their anomalies, ignore them. Don't even touch the anomaly part of them. Ooh, whoops. Uh, I forgot to put the... That person in there, and then this person in there. Okay, here we go. Back to automatically exploring. They will hit the nearest system. They're both going to the same system, system of course. So let's send a fortuitous event. Oh. oh me, oh my. Let's send this person down here. Let's survey that. Uh, did I queue up another construction ship? Yes, I did. Good. Ooh, research complete. Cruisers is done. Beautiful. Uh, what next? We need to find something cheap that will finish quickly. Mass drivers or mineral processing works. Let's do mineral processing because uh, that'll be more useful down the road. And da -da 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 -da. what else? Do we have the third construction, construction ship yet? No. Oh, now we do. Okay, good. So let's get this guy to build some mining stations up here in Fagnanar. There we go. We'll research that spot. Uh, okay, you're building mining stations there. You are still building that frontier outpost. You're only about half done. Oh, man. Taking you a long time. I've got a bad feeling that having these frontier outposts down here will really piss off these Let's guys, though. Please. And that'll be one of their immediate war demands. Cold fusion power. Good. Okay. Uh, next up, you know what we're going to do is we're going to get the energy nexus with planetary power grid. Uh, because the energy nexus has a modifier of producing plus 20% energy credits uh, on that planet. 
and it will directly counteract the loss that droids have for energy credits. Pirate treasure plus 500 energy. That's not too bad. Um, so yeah, they won't be at a loss anymore. Right now they're at a 10% loss because um, minus 20% for being droids, but plus 10% for energy grid. Once we get the Nexus, there won't be a loss anymore. Uh, and, you know, it'll just be more beneficial. It'll, it'll be okay until we get... Um, Synthetics and producing a lot more. I just find a lot more artifacts when I do that because if I research them right when I find them, I only find four to six for the whole game. System survey. Uh, that's entirely anecdotal evidence, I think, man. Um, do, 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 do. The artifacts showing up or not showing up is totally by chance. Uh, sometimes they'll show up pretty early. We can get another science ship, actually. You, but you know what? I think we'll just leave it because having one extra scientist hanging around... Actually, you know what? We'll get this science ship and use it for assisting research on the home world. That's a, that's a good plan. Not only will it help with the research output on the home world, but it will also increase the happiness and, by extension, the production, productivity on said planet. Technological enlightenment 0.3 per month. Yeah, not that great. Uh, I, I went... I went to war in my game at about year 75, but was in my federation already, and my allies took them out without my help, then I vassalized their bitch asses. <laughs> hey, man. If it works, it works. Well, if they are in your territory, you can wait to research them, but if they are in neutral or another empire's territory, then you just should try for them first. Okay, so we got the campaigning for a new first speaker. Uh, who is the person currently ruling? There you are. Uh, they are generating plus 10% monthly unity, plus 5% happiness. Ooh, leader recruitment cost plus 25%. I don't like that. Uh, but also because they are a fourth uh, skill level 4 ruler, that's plus 12% monthly unity. Uh, so good bonuses in unity there for keeping our current ruler. So I'm going to actually support them twice. Uh, what's their agenda? Orbital researchers. So build four orbital research stations. And then we get a big boost in influence that can be arranged construction complete. okay here we go um damn not the shoot well we didn't get the zimpox system that's unfortunate uh but yeah this this isn't too bad i guess okay so let's grab this and that and that and then up here in huddle huddle office Mining stations, and I think that's okay for now. Ooh, what do we got going on in Menchib? There's something producing three minerals. There is a lot of planets and moons in Menchib. So there's still more to uh, survey. That's good. I thought everyone's anomalies were separate. Like, I can't see yours and you can't see mine. Uh, if you're talking, like, multiplayer, personally, I couldn't tell you. complete. Okay, now what do we got? Um, 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 um. Advanced mineral processing. That wouldn't be too bad, but you know what? We're going to go with the cheap one again. Nano composite materials. Seven months for that. That's one of the perks of being in a, in a federation. Yep. Up until, like, the Newtonian game, the last dream game that we did... That was the only one where I found that, uh, you know, we were in a federation with, like, two of the strongest AI empires in the game. Most of the time, it's, uh, I'm in a federation and I am the strongest empire in the galaxy. And the other people in the federation are, like, the weakest. <laughs> Mandate unfulfilled. I didn't finish the orbital research mandate earlier. Oh, okay. But you know what? Didn't need it. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Capital Buildings now produced one more unity. That's perfectly fine. Okay, we re-elected our same leader. That's beautiful. I like it. Uh, we got a construction ship sitting around doing nothing. That is unacceptable. Uh, so let's build... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Can we get a mining station? I mean, nope. Beta Hydri. Uh, me, beep, 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 you know what? Let's do a research station here. A research station here. That's two. Uh, I need two more. Science ship down in Menchib. You are going to go somewhere else. 
Science ship. Also in men's ship. You are going to go somewhere else, too. Do your thing, chicken wing. Okay, uh, where did our extra scientist go? And one more expertise void craft. There you are. Okay. And you are just going to hang out and assist research. Uh, speaking of which... No, no projects going on... Uh, to make use of one of our expertise things. You know what's killing me right now is that there's got to be another bug with the Xbox Twitch app. Oh, where is this? Tile four minerals in Sao. Oh, that's not bad. Ooh, tile blocker cleared. Got to fill that with a droid. Go, 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 go. And droid. Yes, please. Uh, what the heck was I gonna? Was I talking about? Can't remember now. Doesn't matter, obviously. Okay, we are producing a boatload of influence. Uh, once this person is done in Fagnonor, let's research that anomaly. 0% failure rate. Uh, Stebnar, what do we got here? Something producing three. Okay, good. Uh, once we get enough minerals, let's get this person to build a frontier outpost in Stebnar. I like the look of it. Because I find anomalies in other empires' territory. Hell yeah, we'll squash them fools together. Other empires can take anomalies away from you to discover as they survey systems. That's why I never trade star charts unless the galaxy is fighting an endgame crisis. Yes, that one. Take control of the station. No, let's scrap it for materials. Because I have no idea where that is. Yeah, it's way down there. Whatever. Uh, who just died? Oh, one of our maniacal scientists just died. That is unfortunate. Um, so let's go ahead and recruit a new leader. Ooh, meticulous. Plus 10% anomaly discovery trance. Do want. Uh, and then we're going to throw... Ooh, who should we put in the engineering research? You know what? Let's just put this person. They were in the one crescent. This one. You were... Oh, okay. That's even better. They were just assisting research. Paribacht. Uh, tell you what, Pari bot. Is there somebody? Oh, this person. We're gonna throw this person. Boop. There we go. So I just threw the meticulous person in a science ship that is on automatic exploration. So that'll be good. And then I threw the one that generates uh, XP faster. I put them in the one that is assisting research on the home world. Uh, okay, need another cheap technology. Uh, the Grand Fleet. This one will be good. You got the one X, don't you? Who? Uh, me? No, I do not. I don't know who you're asking, to be honest. So I'm just answering for the sake of answering. That's a little. That's a little lesson I just learned. Is it safe to get the sentient AI? Hold on. Is it safe to get the sentient AI research that is dangerous while playing one planet? Absolutely. And is psionic research worth it for one planet? Um, no, not really, because... Well, I mean, it's de it depends on what you're doing. If you're actually doing these psionic... Let's do Corps of Engineers, because we need that. If you're actually doing the psionic strategy, one planet strategy, as opposed to the uh, synthetic ascension, one planet strategy, then yes. Uh... But that's if you're specifically going for that, and you have to have the Empire built differently. Uh, you have to be part spiritualist and part egalitarian, and what was the other one? I can't remember. Like part xenophile or something strange. It was it was a completely different Empire setup with uh, slightly different civics, because you can't take technocracy uh, if you're not materialist. Ooh, habitable world survey completed. There we go. Uh... So it, it like it's a completely different setup if you're actually going the psionics route. There, you do get decent bonuses for doing the psionic ascension because there is like a percentage. Your leaders get a uh, research speed percentage bonus um, when they are um, psychic. I don't know about latent psionic. I'm looking into that actually. Um, so I mean, there is a strategy built around that. But if you're playing the exact same way that I'm doing right now, where you're actually building droids and you're going System to be making your...
pop cyborgs and all that stuff and you're doing the synthetic ascension, then no, there's really no point in getting the psionics te technologies. The only psionics technologies you can get uh, without breaching the shroud and getting things like psi shields and psi jump drive and all that jazz, uh, the only psionic technologies are um, psionic theory. Anomaly found. And then the only, the other one, ooh. Lavis Vestige. Ah, oh, jeez. Xenophobic Fallen Empire. Where are those people at? Ooh, that's a black hole that he tried to fly into. He cannot reach or find any more. Oh my gosh. That's not good. System okay. Survey. So, uh, we could set our science ships to passive so that they can break through some of these systems with hostile peeps in them. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to kill them. We're going to get rid of them once and for all. Well, it looks like I'm going Worm then has good bioscience building. What was will be. What will be was. A fortuitous event. Asteroid collision. Where's that? Over there? Okay. Looking at decent spots for more... Uh... Ooh, where's this? What are you doing up here? What the... How is it you don't have a, sci have a scientist? I screwed something up, didn't I? Yep, I think I did. Uh, can we recruit another leader? Yes, we can. So let's get this meticulous one. Boop, and then boop, and there you go. Alright. Don't know how that happened. Construction complete. Alright, that scientist died, that's why. I'm dumb. Do do expertise psionics again? Okay. That's fine. System uh, Let's complete. see. Ooh, System can we build? Survey no. Complete. Can we build here? No. Uh, where else? Let's have a look. See. One society, one engineering. That could be okay. Oh yeah. I got two that can do that. Huh. I don't know, though. Alright, what's, uh... I've only got the three construction ships. Okay. Duly noted. Let's get uh, the Bria system, build those couple mining stations there, get those minerals coming in. Uh, this guy, we... are going to... Build another frontier outpost over here. There we go. Do you 420? Uh, who are you asking? Are you asking me? Or are you asking somebody else in chat? System survey complete. Uh, upgrade the spaceport? Yeah, let's do that. System Just dumped a complete. whole bunch of minerals in spaceport upgrades, because why not? <laughs> okay, let's get another power plant going here. Oh, somebody died again. The one remembrance. Uh, let's get this person increased XP gain. Eh. What are you doing? Why are you going way up there all of a sudden? What the heck? No. Bad. Survey there. I'm asking you, Moby, my bad. Okay, no, that's fine, dude. Um, I will admit I used to. That was a long time ago, though. Um, it was when I moved back to my hometown. And me and my buddy got a place together. And uh, there was this girl that was living with us. She was the daughter of a, fr of a friend that my mom knew through her teaching profession. Uh, so the three of us were living together. The girl was mostly kind of keeping to herself and whatnot. And me and my buddy. Complete. It was a very small space. It was a fourplex. A part of a fourplex, right? So it was just a tiny little space. So me and my buddy most of the time... Ooh, artificial moral codes? 
This would be good because this gives us uh, robot resource output plus 10%. Uh, so I'm going to go with that one. Can we assign the specialties the one diligent? Okay. So you, why are you back here? Oh, you're right. You were the one that had entered Fallen Empire space, right? Um, anyway, so we had our TVs right next to each other in the really tiny ass living room. And we would stay up late playing like Call of Duty back in the day. This was back in the day, dude. I'm talking like 10, 12 years ago. Uh, we'd be playing Call of Duty, like Cod 4, World at War. Research. Ooh, blue lasers, cool. System uh, Modern Warfare 2, that when it came out in 09, that kind of stuff. Construction. Uh, you know, we stayed up late playing games like that. Um, also, Battlefield Bank Company 2. Um, but yeah, we would just we would just stay up late smoking dope playing video games. I stopped because um, I w this is going to sound really dumb, but it got expensive for me because we'd go to the 7-Eleven that was like a two minute walk away, and I'm not joking. Every time I got stoned, I would go blow like a hundred bucks on munchies every night at the 7-Eleven. So doing that three, four, five times on an hourly wage was very wasteful. <laughs> Uh, plus, I got super pissy when I was high. Um, ooh, what do we got here? Great Thimlar Autocracy. Non-aggression pact. Yep, I'm okay with that. Uh, that will make them kind of like us a little bit. They will develop a stronger liking towards us because we will be building trust with them. Which is what we want. Man, I old. Dude... I'm going to put things into perspective for you uh, for a second here. Uh, I turned 33 in like just a couple weeks. I remember a time where the world existed before Pokemon. Complete. Before Power Rangers. Oh, I keep trying to build there, and I can't. Uh, let's build these mining stations here. Screw it. I got the energy. Man, I'm old. 420, lol. I actually have a gaming buddy whose birthday is on April 20th, and he hates the whole 420 thing. He's like, I don't understand. It's so stupid. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'm 420 friendly because I smoke dope. Oh, yeah, 420 this, 420 that. Because, cause, you know, smoking dope, blah, blah, blah. And he, and he just he goes off on a tangent. It's it's really amusing. I don't understand why people keep talking about 420 just because they smoke dope and they don't even have like their birthday anywhere near that time. Blah blah blah. They were born in like October. And I'm just like, dude, shut up. <laughs> okay, I want to do that project. Investigate gigantic skeleton. And then you're gonna do this project and then this project. Because lol projects, this is free stuff. The Mao, I feel that man. I remember playing Atari Twenty Six Hundred as a kid. That's how old I am. Uh, yeah, it it was a little bit before I could really you know develop and retain memories. But yes, I am in the same boat. Automated mining base, cool. Four hundred minerals for free. Uh, my the earliest games that I remember is playing stuff on like the original NES and some stuff on the Atari 2600 where you just have a joystick and a button. Um, definitely recall that. Ooh, ooh, actually, we're our borders are really close to this xenophobic fallen empire. That might have been a bad idea. Oh, hey, look at that! We can build two research stations over here, and they're pretty good ones too. Good. Okay, Ustir, we've got a mining station. Oops, a uh, mining station for three minerals. That's good. We'll grab that. And then we've got another mining station for three energy Anomaly. to help offset Construction complete. Uh, the stations that we just built over here. Beautiful. I like it. War has been declared against us. Ah! Research See, complete. I knew it. I knew it. That's what we get. We built too close. So we're going to have to disband that and then just... Uh, Hang on. Planetary power grid. We're done that. And... Huh. Hmm. You know what? We're going to do uplink miniaturization. Do we have anybody with expertise computing to speed this up? I don't think so. Our ruler is going to die, though. Uh, because... Yeah. So let's... Re well, we don't... We 
can. We have the maximum amount of leaders. Try Voltron, old. Yeah. <laughs> that was a tad before my time. Just a bit. Not by much. Uh, although I will admit I have seen the Voltron on Netflix probably like three or four times. Eh, it's, 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 it's not bad. I like it. Most of it I like. Um, okay, so let's check out the war demands. Uh, I destroyed the frontier outpost. They're not going to accept it and humiliate. Surrender. Boop. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. And they have assassinated our leader. That is unfortunate. We were in the process of completing the orbital researcher mandate, too. So, yeah. Thanks a lot. That's my own fault. I screwed that up. Um, I should have realized that that would happen as soon as the Fallen Empire appeared. And then I was just like... Duh, 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 without realizing... Oh, yeah. They're not going to like us building a friggin' frontier outpost so close to their borders. Uh, let's see. We got investor energy credits. These are not very good picks. Leader lifespan monthly unity. Uh, busy leading engineering research, though. Off-world minor deep connections. Corvette focus. Not very good. Reformer monthly unity. Busy commanding one emissary. Okay, yeah, this isn't too bad. Oh, here we go. Reduction in the mining space. No, no, no. Mining station build cost. Uh, where did they go? I just supported them and they disappeared. Oh, there it is. Support you again because yay. And we'll do it one more time. And then they are an off-world miner, so we just need to build mining stations. I don't personally celebrate or give about 420 of the day. I just use 420 sometimes in my texting vocabulary. No, that's understandable, dude. It's all good. Uh, offer peace. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Well, this went horribly wrong. One creator was unable to build a research station in Ashamax. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that sucks big time. That sucks giant donkey doo doo. Still, we still can't build that mining station either. Uh, okay, and then those people leveled up. Cool. Oops, uh, where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, so what we're going to do instead, we're going to just... This is really, really inefficient because it's on the edge of the spiral arm, but we're going to build a frontier outpost here in the Korach system where this primitive empire is so that we can technologically enlighten them as well. And that should give us enough borders that we can build a couple research stations, nam namely this one in the Fuo system. Core of Engineers, done. Beautiful, I like it. Um, what's a cheap one? Teldar Crystal Mining. We'll take that. We don't really need any of these other ones. System so, tell our crystal mining it is. Do we have... Oops, no, not that. Do we have any more maniacal scientists anymore? Busy commanding one diligent. Okay, there you are. Now I gotta find the one diligent. There it is. And where is the guy that I just took out of the research project? There he is. Lance Simpson. There you go. Situation log Okay. Updated. One leader. We have a new commander. A new leader. There we go. Hello. Uh, this one. One emissary has cancelled its auto exploration. That's fine. Um, we are generating five influence per month. Jeez. That is a lot of potential frontier outposts. Uh, let's see. I am a full-blown weed head to the core. <laughs> Now, was it COD multiplayer on the couch or COD zombies? Mostly multiplayer. Tried to do zombies, but the people that wanted to play zombies were people that we knew in real life, and they most of them were kind of like dumb about it. Uh, so it was very frustrating, and eventually I just stopped trying with them. Okay, so let's build some mining stations. Fill those up, and then we're going to build one more over here because we got plus two energy off of this planet. And then here's the plus six minerals. Beautiful. And plus three... Engineering research. System Not too bad. Alright. I can't believe how much they killed COD zombies. I'm sad. Wouldn't know. Haven't bought a uh, Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 3. Split screen zombies online multiplayer. Lol. Uh, is times two material space stations worth making for one System planet survey. challenge? 
Um, early on, no. At the, uh, once your once your energy generation is decent, kind of like the way it is right now. I don't know if you noticed, but the energy that um, we've been System producing has been kind of floating around about plus thirty. It's been going a little bit above and below depending on what we build System and whatnot. Survey. But for the most part, that's where it's been. So it, I'd say it's kind of okay by that stage. Uh, but early on, no, it's very inefficient uh, because energy is a severe problem for you in the super early stages of the game. Okay, let's see. How is our cruiser built? Oh, it's just got a whole bunch of lasers all over it. Uh, well, it's super cheap right now, and I really want to take out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build some. I really want to take out some of these space amoeba or whatever the heck these are, so that our uh, our science ships can survey. Uh, more systems, find more anomalies, get us get us more swag, you know. Swag is good. I love COD Zombies on Black Ops One. How much energy does r the research station use? Every orbital station uses one energy per month. Every single one, except the mining stations that use up one energy, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's take a look here. Do do do. What? Where? Come on, move the cursor over it. There it is. Military power, hull points, military station, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's a way to figure out maintenance. Where is it? Is it this? No, I don't think so. Okay, so that's not telling me anything. Ah, oh, there it is. So just moving the cursor over the orbital station will do it. So this one requires no maintenance because it's generating energy. Um, so, you know, it's counteracting its maintenance cost. But this one requires a maintenance of one per month. Every orbital station except ones producing energy require one per month. That's how it works. And that's part of the reason why energy generation is so uh, so crucial. And why as soon as we get um, stations where we can build... Uh, we can build them and generate energy off them. That's why we just go, yep, want that without even really thinking about it. We just do it. Construction complete. Uh, what do we got here? One planet is done upgrading the energy nexus. That's good. Uh, shoot, what else should we do? Research complete. Uh, you know what? We're only losing 10 minerals, so we're going to replace these with power plants. I will consider that an acceptable loss. Tell our crystal mining is done. Now what can we get? Um, geez, not very good options. Let's do ceramo metal materials, because if, if you recall earlier, I said I think neutronium armor is kind of extra prerequisite for, what's it called, mega engineering. How much energy does research station use? System um, I answered that. I have plus 22 energy for my empire and like 12 of the X2 minerals. Uh, 12 of the X2 materials lying around. Probably best to hold off on that for the time being. Unless you're already generating like a lot of minerals, a good like 50 plus or more right now, probably best to just kind of hold off. Um, let's see, check your situation log. How are we doing on the minor mandate? Three out of four. Okay, we need to build one more somewhere. Where can we do that? Oh, somebody just died. Beautiful. Let's build it here where our frontier outpost is. Screw it. Um, oh, awesome. Our maniacal scientist, our other maniacal scientist has died. We only have one left. Um, geez. Let's do expertise computing. I don't want to put them in there. Not really. We'll put them up here. Oop, there we go. And then we'll put the maniacal one that I just took off of physics. There you are. Oop, there we go. All right. 60 minerals System per month. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what kind of, you know, two things it is, really. Should we expect the first 2020 DLC sometime in February? I have no idea. That would be kind of nice, though. Ooh, 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 look at that. Three points in both society and engineering research. That's a good station. Going to build on that for sure. Uh, where is it? Okay, so there, and then build that one, and then what's after that? What are you doing right now? You're building that Menchib station. Blah-de-blah-blah. -blah -blah. Okay. 
Artificial moral codes. Done. Okay, next is... Ooh. Ooh, synthetic thought patterns. This one's pretty good. Reduced edict cost. Speaking of edicts, uh, let's go ahead and activate that share the burden now. Boop. There we go. So we've got encourage free thought on. We've got share the burden on. This, it, this increases robot resource output by plus 10%. Uh, this is actually a really good one uh, if you're running slaves as well, because it increases their output. Ooh. A new civ uh, primitive civilization encountered. There we go. Minor mandate fulfilled. That's what we wanted. Uh, are those our friends? Those guys are our friends. Yes. Okay. How about in here? What? That's the Regan Commerce Exchange, probably. Can we build a frontier outpost over here? It would be great if they give... Give to us in January. It'd be great if they give it to us in January. Don't expect anything until they give a time frame or exact date. Yeah, I'm the same way. I wouldn't be surprised if we're just going to get like very, very slowly drip fed stuff where it's just like humanoids shows up in February or something like that. Where it's like, oh yeah, for to celebrate the anniversary, System here's seven. humanoids, which doesn't really do much System of anything. <laughs> Um, observation post. Let's build the mining stations here as well. Ooh, core dip. You got some stuff. All right. Uh, build the mining station and research stations there too. Beautiful. I like it. Um, so what happened to the science ship that was going to... Oh, there it is. Okay. So they're still going to be doing that. Good. Um, all right. We have two new power plants. Good. So we did lose out on about 10 minerals per month, but our energy went up. Quite a decent amount so we can build more mining stations um okay where do we want to build some mining stations we also need more frontier outposts definitely need more frontier outposts uh our second strike force is decently strong let's send them over here knock out some space amoeba amoebas how are we doing on from our factions 4.59 from factions pretty awesome uh, from guarantees, what what are we guaranteeing? Uh, hold the phone. Contacts. We are guaranteeing something with somebody that is reducing our. It's, and it's not the non-aggression pact. I am not guaranteeing your in independence, there, bro, Chacho. Uh, not anymore revoke that but that's fine we can still we're, we should still be building trust with them regardless because of our non-aggression pact so they're still on good terms with us that's fine complete. <laughs> them Laren sovereignty will remain with or without 300 IQ mofos aid I forgot the name of the friggin species <laughs> 300 IQ mos mofos because you know that makes sense ceramic metal materials all right, not bad. Let's do... System survey complete. Okay, let's do plasteel materials. Screw it. Okay, I saw, uh I'm going to go ahead and Research build some stations complete. in here. And then build a station there. Increase our minerals just a little bit. Let's increase our minerals there as well. And a research station there. Station and station. All right. What do we get? Uplink miniaturization. Not bad. Okay. Uh... Quantum energy states, I think, would be the next good pick. Uh, because this will give us the higher grade power plants, which we could really use. So let's go ahead and throw in... Okay, where is the one emissary? There you are. Okay, throw this guy in there. Okay, there we go. It's your vassal. Uh... No, it was I don't have any vassals yet. Um, it was these guys up here. I forgot that in earlier. I was trying to build some trust with them so that uh, they, you know, liked us more. Um, so I, I guaranteed their independence, and they, I've been guaranteeing their independence for System you know, survey complete. this whole time. System survey complete. I forgot about that. So that's what was uh, draining that one influence. Complete. So by getting rid of it, it allows us to build another two frontier System outposts. But I still am trying to find good places to build said frontier outposts. Because there aren't very many. Not with all these uh, hostile empires surrounding us.
Special project complete. Should probably build another construction ship. Ooh, what do we got here? Cordip 3A. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what do we got? All right. Here we go. First battle. First major battle. Not even major. First first little fucking space battle for us. Ooh, sorry. Pardon my French. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. I don't really... I don't really like that those two cruisers that we got for free have disruptors. <laughs> Not that they're bad weapons, they're just specialized for anti-shield. System survey complete. System survey complete. System survey complete. We are losing our corvettes. Big time. Then again, we only had six, Special so. Project complete. A whiff of something. 350 System society research complete. stored now. Good. Okay. Down to one Corvette. Not really a huge loss, if I think about it. Situation log updated. You know what we will do, though, is definitely go back and repair, and then where is the nearest science ship? Over there. You are now going to study that debris. How do you get a steady unity income with one planet? I only have nine per month. Um, it's it's largely about the bonuses, but the other thing too is that we need to be getting buildings like the auto curating vault and the Ministry of Benevolence and that kind of stuff. Um, and we haven't encountered the curators yet, which is part of the reason I want our science ships. I wanted so many science ships to just get out there and explore the galaxy because by befriending the curators and whatnot System survey complete. Uh, and being a patron with Anomaly them for found. quite some time um, they can give us the um, Ministry of Culture as well uh huh okay so this is good now let's go ahead and do uh, technological enlightenment 2.0 per month. Oh, not too bad. These guys are spirit egalitarian militarist spiritualists. Beautiful. <laughs> well, we have something in common. Less planets you have, less unity you need for traditions. That's correct. I found two curators and one trader, but can't find the patron one. Go off of guide in Moby's chat. Uh, yeah, if you're in the Discord, check out the guide that I posted in there. Um... The, cur the curators Construction complete. can be a little tricky to come by. Sometimes I find them System stupid early complete. in whatever game I'm playing. Sometimes I don't see them for eons. Let's do this space amoeba observation really quick. It's only going to take three months. Ah, oh, jeez. We just lost somebody else. Probably the other maniacal scientist. Beautiful. Um, you know what? Let's get this expertise industry because we could really use that. We're going to swap these guys around. Uh, this guy who is leading physics research, you go there, and then the expertise industry can go into um, physics now. All right, and then traditions, expansion, doesn't really matter which one we go off of, um, because neither of these really do us any good. Pop growth speed increased by plus 10%. We're going to avoid that, so let's do courier network next System survey complete. and then uh, that gives us 93 months for the next tradition oh boy yeah see like it's taking forever for me right now because we don't have any significant project thing complete. we don't have anything to generating a significant amount of unity System on the planet complete. right now which really really sucks uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna wait till the new if you kill the dragon leviathan, it gives you a, a new unity building. Yes. Uh, several leviathan... Uh, if you kill... There's several leviathans that you can kill that give you uh, one of those trophy buildings, actually. Stellarite Devourer does. I think you have to be militarist for it, though. I think. If I recall right. 
Research complete. Defensive pact invitation. Oh yeah, the two guys that don't like us are going to form a defensive pact. Beautiful. That sounds fantastic. Um, what to do? Quantum energy states is done. All right. Uh, let's do specialized combat computers. Actually, no. Let's do active countermeasures because that's partially done already. Okay, there we go. And he was commanding the one emissary, so we're going to move this person into it. There we go. And that's that. Yeah, not having found the curators by now is actually really hurting us. Uh, 93 months for the next tradition is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. We're almost 40 years into this playthrough. Like, that's pretty piss poor. I should have a second ascension perk. Ooh, tile blocker. Uh, I should have a second ascension perk by now. The list goes on. Okay, with the tile blocker cleared, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm. Hmm, that pop still has to build up. Uh, I'm going to activate infrastructure projects to decrease the cost of buildings, and I'm going to upgrade a whole bunch of these power plants. So we'll start with the ones that are generating the most right now. There we go. Helvin civilization. Okay, they're way up there. Uh, let's see. We should be putting stuff in our spaceport. Still can't do a level 6. Don't have battleships yet. That's fine. Um, did I get the doctrine refit standards? I think I did. So let's do the observatory. And... Um, you know what? I don't want to even want to do the orbital hydroponics farm. Screw that. Uh, what did we get? Plasteel materials, um, durasteel materials. We can grab that. You know what? Let's just do mass drivers. It's short. It'll be a very quick one. What do we got? Magnetic reversal. Oh, yes, Frontier Outpost there in Larbo. Let's do that. This is kind of crappy because it's like right, on, it's just outside our borders, so I'm not going to get much use out of it, but screw it. Let's get the second strike force over here. Deal with these space amoeba. Actually, hold on. I've got a better idea. Um, let's upgrade our, Let's upgrade the cruiser design um, with nothing but broadside blue lasers. Medium blue lasers everywhere. As far as the eye can see. Cold fusion reactor, cold fusion reactor, deflectors. Let's give you armor, armor, armor. And more deflectors. Mm, delicious deflectors, beautiful. Uh, better sensors, better thrusters, sure, why not? And can we put anything else on? No, not really. That'll work. Okay, second strike force. Upgrade, please. System survey complete. Once you're done with the observatory. <laughs> Is your Xbox ID the same as your name here? Uh, yes, without the underscore, of course. Amoeba breeding program and regenerative hull tissue. Beautiful. And th that guy was down here in Sterope. So you carry on. Automatic exploration, please. Building there yet? No. Nope. System survey complete. What about down here? Ooh, ooh, can I build in that now? I don't think so. Nope. Research complete. Dang it. Construction complete. There's our mass drivers. Uh what next?
Son of a gun. Let's just do the nuclear missiles. Screw it. It's a quick one. Re re we'll, re we'll react. We'll, sorry. We'll re-roll for hopefully better technologies. Also, an acting happiness edict on planet will slightly increase unity output. Uh, true, but it's very, very subtle. Uh, like, let's see how much we're making. 13.34. And let's do propaganda broadcasts. 13.79. So, yeah, like 0.4. Not a huge difference. That's an extra two every five months. All right. Move over there. Research take complete. out those pesky space System amoeba, please. Complete. Research complete. Active countermeasures. Lovely. Uh, let's see. We're going to do... Hmm, let's do synchronized defenses because that's a cheap one. I'm not liking how we're rolling it for our technologies, really. Not getting very good technology rolls. The one with the pink background and white unicorn for pick. Yes. New soil. Military. Ooh, militarist and materialist. Beautiful. Okay, what are you doing in Cordip there, Brochacho? Not very much, are you? So you're going to go over here. Build stations. System survey complete. Ba -da -ba -ba. There we go. Hostile System fleet where? Oh no, more space Research amoebas. Complete. And they are in a really bad spot. They're in a choke point system, which we need to get past. Alright, I think we're going to have to do deep core mining. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now I need to assign the... Um, expertise industrialist to that. One emissary carry on. There we go, that should do it. Hopefully this frontier outpost isn't too close to these xenophobic Incoming muggers transition. and we can build these stations in the neighboring systems. Okay, these guys want to give us some minerals for a research agreement? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Research complete. Synthetic thought patterns. Okay, let's do... Oh, man, I thought I had refit standards already done. Dang it. Apparently not. Okay, well, let's choose that one right now. And then we'll get rid of this guy. Somebody else we can put in there? No. We'll, okay, never mind. We'll just leave him. Anomaly found. There we go. See how much more quickly they die now that we've got our cruisers equipped with lots and lots and lots of guns. <laughs> Research complete. Pew, pew, pew. We've lost our last Corvette, though. Synchronized defense is done. Um, what's another one we can do? Let's do specialized combat computers, because that's a quick one. I can't believe I have not come up with... Um, what's the next one? Antimatter power. Ship component. Surprised that hasn't turned up. Come on, kill it. Gotta kill it. Situation log update. There we go. System survey complete. Head back and repair, please. And then uh who's nearby? Yeah, let's get this person to do it. How effective are strike craft on cruisers or battleships? Uh, very effective, actually. System survey complete. Okay, we want to clear out all of those. So, you know what? Let's build a couple more cruisers. Let's just build two more. Construction complete. That's it. Okay, so we built that new frontier outpost now. We're going to get him to do the observation post in the same system. Then we'll have him build this research station, build these research stations, and build all these mining stations over here, too. Screw it. Why not? System survey complete.
there, this last tile blocker. Plasma or laser better? Um, I personally feel that plasma is better. Um, laser... System survey complete. Energy weapons in general are largely very specialized. Uh, largely. I think laser is the only kind of general purpose energy weapon. It only suffers a small damage penalty against shields. And I say small because it's not that big. It's only like, what, 20%? Um, ooh, build all these mining stations. Yes, please. Oh, build those mining stations. Yes, please. And those research stations. Yes, please. Um, research complete. And I'm speaking strictly comparing like gamma lasers to plasma launchers or plasma throwers, whatever the... Okay, let's get AI-controlled colony ships because these options are awful. Um, which would you put them on, cruisers or battleships? It depends on what I want to do. Uh, usually late, usually like late, 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 late game, around the time that a endgame crisis shows up, I don't really use very many cruisers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but it largely depends on what you want to build your cruisers for. I have... I have a single player playthrough that I'm working on right now where I'm actually using the cruisers as just a tanky screen and they have a flak cannon on them with the broadside rear which has a medium a single medium slot and that's a flak cannon. Their middle is a hangar core with two things of point defense and then the front, I forget what's on the front. I can't remember, but I think it's like small stuff, small guns. And their job is to go out front because the cruisers tend to be in the forefront of the battle when, right when it kicks off until the corvettes surpass them, of course. Ooh, here we go. There's our battleships. Um, okay, so i got to find that expertise voidcraft person again. There we go. He was commanding the one diligent. So let's find the one diligent and move the expertise industry person in there. Um... Debris do, 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 do. Oops, what did I do here? Okay, so we're going to take the droid off of the thing that's generating the science uh, and put him on food. So that's the nice thing about robots too is that uh, they have no penalty to food, so you can actually uh, throw them on farms. Uh, yeah, you're right. Both have a minus 20% penalty to shields. You're correct. That was my bad. Um, however... Plasma has the much higher um, ignore armor value. Hands down, obviously. Um, System but lasers still, if I recall right, have the higher accuracy and tracking compared to plasma. Um, so that's why they're kind of more general purpose, in my opinion. Uh, you've also got the disruptors that are strictly anti-shield on top of, you know, neutron torpedoes, which are also anti-shield. Then you've got plasma, which is anti-armor. And then, you know, the lasers are kind of the all-around do all three with decent tracking and accuracy as, as well. Uh, lasers still have armor. Ooh. Lasers. Ah, oh, see, I was too slow. We just got an organic pop that started growing on here. One, two, three, four, five. Dang it! Do I have six robots? Yes, I have six robots. Okay, good. All right, not as big of a disaster as I thought it was then. That could have been a lot more upsetting. Uh, who just died? Hmm. Uh, let's get expertise materials. This is useful. Don't we have somebody doing... No, nope, we do not. Okay, ignore me. Um, let's see. Wow, that is really smart. I never thought of them taking the first blows in battle. Well, that's the other thing, too, is, um, a big consideration of, like, a big reason why late, late, late game, I just go all battleships and slap on XL weapons and everything is because that alpha volley, which will be... Um, you know, in my case, 99% of the time, tachyon lances that just go pew, 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 uh, outside the range of a lot of other weapons, not all of them, but a lot of them, um, that alpha volley actually can make a big difference. If you can take out several enemy ships, even if they have like the same number of ships or a similar number of ships as you, 
Uh, if your alpha volley is so much more superior to theirs that you actually take out, you know, five, six, seven ships of theirs compared to yours, you immediately have an edge in that fight. Void cloud observation. All right. Uh, three months to finish that. Once you're done, what are you doing over here? You're over there. What's this person doing? Okay, once this guy's done, I want you to go over to here. Build these research stations, build this mining station, build those mining stations, and build a mining station up here. I'm sure, why not? Research complete. System survey complete. Research complete. Terrestrial sculpting. Okay, now what do we want? Something cheap, ideally. Which is nothing. Interstellar warfare. Sure, why not? What do you think of two medium plasma in front, two point defense and one fighter wing in middle, and a medium disruptor in back? Uh, if you have flak, I would give it uh, flak artillery in the back. Void unclouded. Um, yeah, I'd give it a flak cannon in the, in the back, or put all three medium slots to flak just to be you know ridiculous about it, <laughs> and then your cruiser is essentially. Um, Defensive oriented. It shoots down missiles and strike craft before the, it gets to before they can hit and damage your more use your more valuable ships, your battleships. Uh, but of course, you could also there we go. Enlightenment completed. Our observation post about their homeworld has been dismantled. System Where was that? Complete. Oh, that was down there. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I just no no. If I keep the if I keep the uh, frontier outpost there, then I still get those um, those resources. Now that we have all those um, what's it called uh, stations in that in that part of the in that part of the territory there. Okay, so I should. I better double check. I need to go to the bottom of the outliner. Observation. This is just passive observation. We need to change that to technological enlightenment. 1.0 per month, so 100 months and that'll be done. How about this one? 0.3 per month. That's going to be a while still. That's okay. Construction ship over here. You are done. Uh, how about building stuff? Nope. Can't do it there. System survey. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Need to get our cruiser fleet over here to knock out these two bits of space and maybe and definitely knock out this one so that our guys can slip past there no flak haven't seen the research yet um yeah if it if it's completely counteracts what you're facing then it's fine um that's System something that i don't think a lot of people have grasped is that is that there's no one set good ship design that's great against everything there really isn't um, there are definitely ship designs that are very versatile and useful in, you know, 90% of situations. For example, cruisers with all broadside sections mounting nothing but medium plasma cannons. I mean, that's that can be effective if you mass a whole bunch of them. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Build, 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 build in that system. Please and thank you. Build those mining stations as well. Uh, can't build there yet. Can't build there yet. That's fine. I like it. Uh, what do we got over here? Is there? Any, we should be able to build a frontier outpost over here and, uh, you know, get some gains. Alien specimen procurement. Lovely. What a great time to be getting that. Not. And where are they all? All over the place. Great. Doctrine. Interstellar warfare. Well, you know what? Let, we might as well get the genome mapping now because whatever. Our, all of our uh, homeworld's tiles are cleared. Busy commanding one Zephyr. So let's move this guy. Ooh, wait, what? This one. Oh, we got two ships. We got two science ships titled the Zephyr. Totally not confusing. Do battleships immediately attack other battleships first, then everything else second, like cruisers to cruisers and destroyers, then corvettes? Uh, that I don't actually have an answer to. Um, if what I read was true, 
correct, I should say, is that weapons will prioritize what they are effective against. Um, so, for example, if you have a small... Oh, jeez, a couple void clouds there. That's not good. Um, if you have two small weapons, like, say, let's just say for the sake of a thought experiment, one is a small railgun, which has uh, a... a damage bonus to shields of about 33% and I don't think it will have a, an armor reduction thing because it's a small. It's not a medium, it's not large. Um, Research complete. And then the other one we'll say is a laser or a plasma cannon System which has uh, ign an ignore armor but damage reduction against, against shields. Uh, what actually happens is oh fuck, hang on, sorry. Theron Dust? Plus 10% food output, though, so that's kind of useless. Uh, what will actually happen is that that railgun... This is if I read... If the information I read is correct, um, both in terms of the game in general and also to console edition. Um, supposedly what will happen is if those two guns have um, a list of targets to shoot between... The railgun will, in fact, target ships with shields over ships without shields. If I understood, if I understood what uh, what I read correctly, uh, and then the plasma cannon will actually target ships without shields over ships with shields because it has the innate uh, armor ignore. System survey complete. Or is that only on PC? The art people just hit a lick on me and stole my shit. They up and left the happiness parade to rob me. I just now finally got Mega Engineering to pop up year 2288. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had that. Um, it's very frustrating when that happens. It pretty much screws up your entire One Planet run when it shows up that late. Because by that point, you should be at the very least uh, having part of the science nexus being constructed. Um... So yeah, I feel you, dude. I've definitely had that happen. Uh, how am I going to do this? Let's get this guy to go down here first. And then come back up here. And then come back up here. Um, as for targeting particular types of ships, I do believe larger weapons will prioritize larger ships simply because they have less tracking and accuracy compared to smaller weapons. Um, so larger weapons will do more damage, but they're, you know, they have a tougher time hitting the little corvettes and destroyers and stuff like that. I think, I think, don't quote me on that. Found. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong and I'm okay with being wrong. I'm very used to it. Just getting, getting prepared for marriage and all that. Who just died? Governor Aminemina Aminemina. Oh, that's awesome. We just got a scientist with the substance abuser trait. They will now not live as long. <laughs> Research complete. Self-aware colony ships. Beautiful. Okay, now let's do... Um... I don't know. Improved deflectors? And let's get the expertise field manipulation person on that one. So that should give us an extra scientist just, just kind of hanging around, shouldn't it? Yes, it does. So we're going to make another science ship. Uh, come on, science ship. Issues special project, Situation the Prince. Updated. Sure, let's take a look. Uh, what do we got here? Finishes in two months. Let's do it. Why not? System now, like I said, everything I just babbled on about System in terms of like target prioritization, blah, target prioritization, and all that jazz. Um, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true. I don't. Know, I don't know if it's true at all. We will return it to its proper owners. Hail them. Ooh, hello. Energy credits gained. And... 
Okay, they'll like us more. Unfortunately, it's guys that it's our uh, protectorate, so. Of course, somebody watching this on YouTube in the future would is uh, finally hit automatic curation algorithms. Unusual encounter in Dwitham. Interesting. What the? Ah, it's the Numerian Nomads. Very interesting. Okay, let's uh, leave them be. All right, in about ten minutes, I'm going to end tonight's stream. System survey complete. Uh, we actually hit over 20 in-game years. So that's pretty decent. I'd like to say things are coming along nicely, but I don't think they are at all. We're 40 years in, and add the skid marks modifier. Where is that planet? Oh, now I can't look. Um, there are certain technologies that I should have by now. Like, great, I'm getting battleships done. That's fine. And I'll probably get fortresses to pop up pretty shortly System as well. Uh, but I haven't seen System antimatter power, complete. which is awful. Should have that by now. Uh, and I haven't seen things to improve unity generation System either. Complete. Like, we're still 21 months away from completing expansion. By this point in the game, normally, uh, I'd have two ascension perks and be already working on the third tree of traditions. Research uh, but it's not going so well. And goes vapor refining. Uh, what else can we do? Let's just do Patharan dust because that's very, very short. Um, System survey complete. Research okay. Complete. In terms of overall production, I don't think we're doing too bad, but planetary shields, sure, System why not? Complete. It's the cheapest one. Easily the most useless Research out of the complete. whole bunch, though. Anomaly found. Research. Um, I'm going to build a science lab here. Why not? Until I get the buildings to produce unity and replace these science labs we'll just leave them intact oh whoops we finished a research project and i didn't even notice oh there we go deep space installations there it is that's what we need fortresses now we need zero point power all right cruisers go get them Man, our cruisers really took a beating before we Special got those gun got the guns on those amoeba. Tar black secured. Research complete. What have we got now? Pitharan dust refining, good. Um You know what? Plus ten plus ten years on leader lifespan, not bad. System survey complete. Could use that since we have, especially since we have some System high level leaders right now. Complete. Ones that we would kind of want to keep around a little longer. Log updated. Okay, you guys can. Uh, how much do you have to repair? Ooh, a fair bit. Okay, so we'll get them to repair and then they'll take out these space amoeba and these ones. Incoming transmission. Construction. Incoming complete. transmission. What do we got? Star charts. Uh, nope. Not happening. Star charts are bad. Especially considering we want to find anomalies. We want to survey planets. Okay, so I could build a bunch of mining stations over here. And help with our miner mineral generation. Our energy is kind of in the toilet all uh, at this stage, though. Significantly lower than it was. Hmm. How can we rectify that? Construction complete. Ooh, we got an election coming up. Uh, who is currently ruling? We're going to just leave them in power because why not? How come you're available? Oh, 
off world minor okay that's fine and yep you got the plus 10 percent monthly unity so we'll do that somebody just died again uh, let's see so somebody's available here you go can't believe I forgot to put that guy in the ship that uh, I replaced him from I feel pretty stupid Okay, I got you to survey. Oh, what just happened? What just happened? We have elected somebody completely different? Really? Scientist Herbert Gibber. Oh, wait, that person's already dead. One acuity had to return from to one star because it was within the Yalon Republic, which they must have just colonized. And he popped into that system. Ugh, ridiculous. Construction complete. System okay, once you're done over there, my friend, you're going to come back over here. Research that debris. Three empires out of five, one of two fallen empires 40 years in. Situation log updated. Construction Row complete. aliens. All right. I don't think this playthrough is going too well. Special project complete. What we got crystalline entities. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Situation log updated. We'll, we'll just do remote study. Screw it. Two months to finish that. Why not? Uh, it's getting pretty late, so I'm going to be shutting down in just a few minutes here. Starting to, uh... Starting to get sleepy. Uh, so, later on this week, I'll actually be uploading a video Special about the 4,000 subscriber thing. Find some practical use for this information. See, I... <sighs> Spend 30 energy to instantly survey any crystalline entity system when entered. I don't like that. I do not like that. The other thing that you get is way better. Ooh, excuse me. Mm. Are you still building? Yes. Okay, no more building stuff because we are running low on energy credits generation. Company. Takaram. Oh, we got nine there. Holy crap. Research Do one. Complete. Let's move you down here. Research complete. Planetary shields. Oh, there it is. Antimatter power. Thank you. Finally. Jeez. Um, I don't have an expertise particles scientist. Can we recruit one? No. So let's find one of our higher level scientists. Do we have a level 5 anywhere? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab this guy. Busy commanding one emissary. Move you out. And the one emissary was this one. And then we move this guy into it. There we go. I'm ending my game playthrough too. Like, quitting it? Or... <laughs> See, we're 15 months away from fortresses in this, but it's going to be a long time before we get antimatter power. Uh, because our physics generation is kind of in the toilet compared to every, everything else. Orinthi secured, but I'm going to change that. Uh, we're going to enact physics research grants. We have the influence. And then that changed it from about 60 months to 48 months. So it didn't solve our problems by a long shot, but it'll definitely help. Here we go. Selected lineages. <laughs> I don't like these ones. Increased leader experience gain and leader lifespan, but greatly increased leader recruitment costs. I suppose that's not too bad if you have other things, you know, dropping leader recruitment costs uh, by a significant margin. That's not too bad. But there's numerous ways that you can boost. Um, here we go. A new life, the final expansion tradition, and now we are going to 
the do the flesh is weak robot maintenance cost minus 15 percent robot build speed plus 25 percent we will prepare a special project to enhance our citizens with cybernetic implants bloopity bloop bloop we must embrace this technology okay the flesh is weak available oh my god 29 months we're gonna do it anyways and with that i think it's time to call it a night um yeah that's about it um so uh, you know what what uh, i think a better cruiser design to the one that you mentioned earlier um z gaming i think a better one would be if you change the front to a torpedo launcher throw on a neutron torpedo and then the other slot i believe will be a small uh throw on like a plasma launcher and then keep keep the rest of your stuff the same. I think that could work out fine. But what do I know? I'm just a dumb white kid. I guess I can't use that card anymore, hey? I don't know. I've been in my 30s for several years. <laughs> You're doing way better than me, though. Battleships hasn't come up. Yeah, a lot of it is very luck-based, but that's why you go with a technocracy. That's why you get self-aware logic as soon as possible as well. To increase your research options. I've been getting bad rolls. I mean, antimatter power and it's 45, what, almost 50 years in the game? That's awful. Most of the one planet things that I've done, I've had zero point. Like, either being done by now or it's at least popped up by now. Anyways, um, that's going to be it for tonight. So, thanks to those of you who came by and watched on Twitch uh, and, came, and came by live. Haven't really looked at torpedoes. Thank you for the help. Uh, well, see, there's two kinds of torpedoes. You have the regular space torpedoes, which become the Devastator torpedoes. And then you have the proton and neutron torpedoes, which are considered an energy weapon. Because they're considered an energy weapon, they do not get shot down by point defense. And they are extremely good at stripping shields. So a good mix in your fleet is, corvette, is torpedo launcher corvettes with neutron torpedoes. And the other little thingy can be either a disruptor to help them continue stripping shields or a small plasma cannon so that they can do decent damage to things that have been have had their shields completely knocked out and then you have your cruisers also with at least one torpedo launcher and it has neutron torpedoes as well to strip shields and you know a couple plasma launchers and then your battleships way in the back uh, can completely eviscerate enemies that no longer have shields with things like tachyon lances kinetic artillery even or just large plasma cannons um, Either or. What? I didn't know the difference there. Yeah, there's the regular space torpedoes, which which bypass shields and have a huge uh, ignore armor bo uh, factor. I think it's like 50% or something. Uh, but the energy torpedo... But those could get shot down by point defense and also flak, actually. But the energy torpedoes do not get shot down by point defense. Handy tip. Um, anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. So I appreciate all of you guys coming by this evening, being chatty. Um... You know, I try to answer questions as best as I can, but, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm if i not 100% sure on something, I'll say I could be wrong, and if I don't know, I will simply tell you I don't know, because I would rather just admit that I'm dumb and uninformed rather than f hand out false information, because nothing irritates the shit out of me more um, playing games that I like than when I see people online handing out false information or just complete misinformation. That drives me nuts, so I do my darndest to avoid that. I'm still guilty of it now and then, but I try to reduce that as much as possible. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, you would like to see more Stellaris Console Edition content, subscribe to the channel, dingle my dongle to be notified of when I put up new videos. Uh, leave a comment if you like uh, seeing this particular playthrough as uh, as it's going right now. Um, I don't think this One Planet strategy is going too well, but we'll see. Um, also, check out my other playlists. Um, there will be the Stellaris console tips and strategies one. Maybe check that one out. Maybe you'll learn something. Hope so. Uh, check out the links in the description below. My Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of, so you can come by and watch live as well. I tend to stream this every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You'll also find my Twitter feed. Great way to keep in touch with me and pay attention to any news updates about postponed or cancelled streams. Uh, I also notify when I go live on that. And, of course, the Discord channel, which I have previously mentioned as well. Drop by, come chat with other Stellaris Console Edition uh, players. 
you know, set up multiplayer games, ask questions, bounce ideas off of each other, etc., etc., or just talk about the game. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again real soon. Have a great night.